Need to know where to get ramen in San Diego? I got you covered. I recently visited San Diego and reviewed four of their famous ramen shops. To see which one was my favorite, keep on watching. First up, we got Tajima in Kirni Mesa. Immediately, I noticed their long line, which is a good sign, and their amazing happy hour special. Every day from the time they open to 6 p.m., you can get $3 Sapporo beers, $5 karaages. Also, I was really fortunate to go on a Tuesday because on Tuesdays, they have buy one ramen, get one 50% off. To start, we got the chicken karaage, which were huge. The flavor was a little bit different, but it was still great. We also got the Brussels sprouts tempura with ponzu sauce, a great healthier option. I gotta do a voiceover because the music was loud outside, y'all. So anyway, I got the Tajima ramen, which is a creamy tonkotsu broth with chashu and an egg. Can't go wrong with that. And my boyfriend ordered the spicy sesame ramen. This had a really nice kick with a hint of peanuts. I really liked this one because it had a great depth of flavor. Overall, the food at Tajima was great. Now for our second spot, we are at Nishiki Ramen. Another voiceover because restaurants here sure love to blast their top 40 music. What's really streamlined is that you order on the tablet before you're seated. I noticed the names of the ramen bowls are more Americanized than I would have liked, but let's give it a shot anyway. Also, all orders will include a 15% service charge. All right, so I ordered the Smoke Bomb Black, which is a tonkotsu broth with black garlic, complete with egg, chashu, and other toppings. Now that we've got our thumbnail photo, let's eat. I really like the thin noodles here at Nishiki. The garlic flavor was a little bit too faint, but it was there. The chashu was awesome, meaty, fatty, just perfect. The egg was great too. I love dipping it back into the broth and enjoying it that way. Now I'm gonna try another ramen for you all. This is my boyfriend's gyokai ramen. Gyokai means seafood. The seafood broth was a little bit faint, but it was there, and overall, I actually really, really enjoyed this one. So my final thoughts on Nishiki Ramen. I really like their streamlined operations, and their food was actually pretty good. At first, I thought it would be too Americanized for me, but overall, I definitely think that Nishiki is worth a try. Before we get to our last spot, here's a bonus feature. I unexpectedly ended up at Underbelly in Little Italy, so let's check it out. I just got my Underbelly ramen from Underbelly. Okay, comes with some adobo pork, some applewood bacon. This place is a bit more Americanized than I normally would like to go to, but we're here, so let's give it a go. Mmm. Mm. If you like a more chewy al dente texture to your ramen, you might like this a lot. Okay, I think this is the adobo pulled pork. Let's give it a shot. The adobo pulled pork is actually pretty good. All right, this is either the tashu or the apple with bacon. Mm. That's definitely the bacon. <laughs> Mmm. I don't think I've ever had apple with bacon in ramen before, but it works. Mmm, one of my favorite parts of having ramen. I love just dipping the egg back into the ramen and finishing it off that way. Mmm. So I consider this more of a bonus to the episode because I wasn't planning to come to Underbelly. But now that I'm here, let me give you my final thoughts on it. I think for American ramen, it's pretty good. For Japanese standards, not quite there. All right, on to our last ramen spot. For our last ramen stop, we are at Menya Ultra. Menya means noodle shop. Menya first opened in Akita Prefecture in 1994 and opened in San Diego in 2017, and since then has garnered a loyal following. So let's check it out. I am so excited about this. I have heard such good things about Menya. Here's a pro tip. Join the Yelp waitlist before you arrive so that you won't have to wait as long to get a table because it does get busy. And when you are seated, they'll give you a slip of paper and you just simply check off what you want to order. All right, so starting off with appetizers, we got the Nagoya style fried chicken, also known as tebasaki. And it is with sweet soy sauce and black pepper. Here's what it looks like. You can see the peppers right there. Mm, look at how meaty it is inside. The breading sticks on very well and you can definitely taste the sweetness as well. It doesn't have such a sharp soy sauce flavor. I taste mostly the sugar as well as a little bit of kick from the pepper. If you want to try something different, definitely try the Nagoya style fried chicken. And I'm so excited because the ramen is finally here. I ordered the Ajitama Tonkotsu Ramen. 
So ajitama refers to these eggs. Aji means flavor and tama means egg. And chashu as well. Who doesn't love chashu? All right, let's try the tonkotsu ramen from Menya. I am digging the broth. It's really creamy. And I like the noodles as well. They're very thin, cooked very well, and they taste amazing. All right, let's get a bit of the chashu as well. Mm. A good balance of meat to fat ratio. All right, now let's try the ajitama. That is one of the softest ajitama that I've ever had. It just crumbled into your mouth. I like it. I like it a lot. I'll say it now, folks. Of all the ramen places that I visited in San Diego, Menya is definitely my favorite. Awesome noodle texture. The egg is really soft and creamy. The chashu is perfect. I will say that the tonkotsu broth is a little bit more on the creamy side rather than the pork side, but it's all good with me. I think that the ramen is more true to Japanese cuisine. Yeah, it really is the best. And that is it for my ramen in San Diego video. Hope that you enjoyed it. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. It really helps this channel out a lot so that I can continue making more food and travel videos for you all. And please share this video with any of your friends who are in or visiting San Diego. Again, I'm Stephanie Yeo, your food and travel host. Thanks again, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!